very good afternoon to you. Yeah, I'm just walking in the park with my dog. Yeah, I wonder if you can see. Yeah, that's my dog. Okay, we're just taking a walk in the afternoon. And uh, I thought maybe I'd just take a video and uh, talk, to, talk to some of you who are in sales. Right, if, if I were to ask you a question on what's your definition of sales, what would you tell me? What would be your answer? Just quick, take a few quick seconds to think about it. Right, most of the time, what I hear the answers when I talk to people and ask them that question is a lot of them are very transactional. You know, an exchange of money for services or products, or they are saying uh, earning a commission or anything like that. Well, those are mostly the common answers that I get. Then I get a few people who says uh, helping somebody to make a decisions or you know uh, helping people to think about what are they buying, you know, the value of what they're buying and all this, which to me is always very true, you know. And do you realize that sometimes and most times your best sales is always coming from somebody who you weren't selling to, that you were not selling to? So in short, I would say that my definition, my own definition, what sales is, is that sales is not sales. You don't sell, you help. So that's why I said a lot of times when your best sales always come with when when you're actually helping somebody to buy a product or services when you help that becomes the best way of selling right if i could just share a short story with you now, when i was young and uh, I'm, I'm talking about maybe in my when i was 10 years old to 12 years old and one of my biggest hobbies is actually fishing so i like to a lot of times go near my house where there's uh, you know uh, streams or ponds or even drains right and catch ikan haruan or uh, snakehead and i catch them i catch a lot of them and then i put them in an urn and i keep them for a few days and my neighbor one of my neighbor housewife said hey tino i see you catching fish all the time do you want to sell them to me and i said oh okay you know, make a little bit of pocket money, or one ringgit or two ringgit of fish, depending on the size. And and I started to realize, hey, there there is a need. There is a need in my neighborhood that people are buying these fishes because it, it's got healing powers, in a sense, healing uh, ingredients, for, especially for people who just had operations. So I started selling to her first, and then it continued from there, from one to the next, household then to the next household until, until the whole neighborhood knew that I was actually selling all these fishes so a lot of them came to me and I was earning my pocket money then that was probably my first dip into entrepreneurship right learning to make money out of something that I was doing and it got a lot more interesting I, I was doing sales without really realizing that I was doing sales I was more of helping a need around the neighborhood helping people um, you know, who, who had just had surgery or they just like to, to eat that fish, right? So there was a need. And I realized the more that I help the need, the more I'm actually making sales. And that's that's my definition of sales. It's actually not about selling. It's about helping somebody make a decision or helping a need or satisfying a need in that sense, right? So if you're ever thinking about doing sales, first thing first is, don't sell because selling is really not no fun and I'm sure you agree with me there's a lot of you who actually don't like sales but are in sales because you don't know what else to do or you've been forced to do it and then you don't like the interaction because you feel that you're pushing people to buy things well the key is not push the key is to pull people in with what we, what we can satisfy their needs with right so the services and products that we have, it, it will satisfy people's need. You can't make sales all the time. No, it's not 100%. But if you're 80, 90% there with every customer that you're meeting, you're doing okay. You're doing okay, right? So that's, that's just a short, short sharing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know. Just rethink your defi definition of sales. 
rather than just trying to push your products and services think about how you can pull people to your products and services and I'm sure your products and services are great and I'm sure there's a lot of people who want it right it doesn't mean that you're gonna get guaranteed a sale so let's start thinking rethink our strategy when we are doing sales it's not about pushing it's not about selling it's about helping all right so take it easy guys let's meet up again another time so for the time being peace out <laughs>